from the Montgomery County Jail, and investigators say he has only himself to blame for ending up right back where he started. U.S. Marshals found Creekmore in Green Bay, Wisconsin, after following a trail the suspect left with status updates on his own Facebook page. You know, today's technology on, on, on people get using their text messaging, Facebook, they just get used to it, they just can't quit, and obviously that's what happened to him. Jail officials say this is the area in the recreational yard where Creekmore escaped, and they say it's clear he had to have help to make it 15 feet to that camera before pushing his way through a gap in the fence. Investigators say at the very least, help reaching that height came from fellow inmate D.J. Holland. I know for sure he will be charged. But Montgomery County Jailer Dwayne Myers says it doesn't end there. I feel like there's a chance maybe that uh, one of the guards or maybe two of the guards might be involved with helping him get out. Myers says those guards are the subjects of an ongoing investigation with the Department of Corrections and Kentucky State Police. But in the meantime, they are still on duty. Bottom line, is this jail secure? Yes. Myers insists the guards in question are closely monitored by other personnel. Gaps in the chain leak fence covering the recreational yard have been fixed, and new controls are in place to keep track of inmates. As for Stuart Creekmore, he won't even be allowed in the recreational yard, and any recreation on Facebook will be equally off limits. In Montgomery County, Gabriel Rojas, WKYT 27 News First. Well, jail officials tell us that a guard failed to count the inmates as they left the recreational yard, which gave Creekmore about 45 minutes before they discovered that he was missing. There's now 